What is happening outside? I am literally, I don't understand, like, I'm turning 20, that's crazy. I don't feel like I'm 20, I feel like I'm still a teenager, you know? Okay, this is taste this. This is, by the way, homemade because... <gasps> You're probably wondering, like, why is it blue there? It's because we didn't have enough, uh, we didn't have enough, uh, purple fondant. So we had to use blue for the rest. But I think that's just cool because it's like, here's, like, the ocean. It's water. So it kind of has, like, poof, splashed water on the gum gum fruit. Oh, yeah, if you haven't seen One Piece, this is the gum gum fruit. From one piece that Luffy <laughs> That's what I'm dressed up as Luffy eats And when he eats this devil fruit He gets the gum gum power Like Goma Goma no. I have no idea how crazy it is To like, <laughs> like I'm gonna eat it like that Oh but first we need to Blow out the candles I'm just gonna use one Cause one I'm just gonna eat it now. <laughs> I don't want to, but I also want to. <laughs> okay. Where should I eat? Here. No, I here. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here it goes. Okay. Oh my god. I just. It's all fondant. <laughs> I didn't even eat the cake. Whoa. That's slimy. And that is perfect for the gum gum fruit. Why? I'm also gonna be cutting the cake so you guys can like see inside. Well, the fondant is good. Mm hmm Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way you guys, I have my one piece posters here. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji. <clears throat> and then I have my one piece t shirt there. Yeah. And over here is called Gias. Totoro. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Oh. Man, it doesn't work. <laughs> you can see it's crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That's a huge high quality matcha flavor <gasps> mm. Man, that is so good you guys <gasps> okay let's cut the cake so you can like see inside brought this tight with me this is like you know it's blue it's just ah, perfect Oh, 
Oh, and I have a lot to tell you guys about. You have no idea what has happened to my index finger. Crazy story. We're gonna talk while I'm eating this cake. And yeah, I'm not gonna eat the whole cake because I can't because my sisters want to taste it too. Okay, this, this is not easy. I managed to do it. Look at this green matcha cake. literally perfect like I don't know I feel like I'm holding the real life gum gum for it it's matcha and then we have white chocolate and like vanilla cream Whoa. that is so juicy Mm. And it's so good with the fondant. Mm -hmm. mm. 10 out of 10. Mm -mm. I forgot to sing. Itadakimasu. <laughs> I'm too obsessed with anime. I think that's just fun. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah. The story about my index finger. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bit blue. That's because <laughs> almost a week ago, I, what's that called in English? When you like squeeze or like pinch, not pinch, but when your finger is stuck and you can't get out and it gets squeezed, that happened. And it literally was blood. That's why here it like was blood and the whole finger was blue like this and I was like I, I'm gonna die because I'm a person that really exaggerates so when something like this happens or just I bleed a little bit I'm like I'm dying I'm dying <laughs> I can't see blood like when I see blood I can't walk I'm like oh I get dizzy so and this happened when I was alone I, you know, I was washing the shower, and then the shower door, yeah, and I was all alone, so that was even more scary, I called mom, I called my sister, and none of them answered, so I was like, okay, I'm going to die alone, and nobody will know, <laughs> my brain. But, and then they called me and I was like, what am I going to do? And then, help me, I'm dying. And yeah. Now it's better though, but it hurts if I like, I can't do this. That really hurts. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was literally three days just standing like this. I couldn't even bend. I was like this the whole time. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. what was I going to say? That happened and then, mm. My birthday in 20 years. My birthday, or like the date, the time, the time of my birth has been a lie, you guys. 
The cake was so good. I'm so happy. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I have sticky fingers. Mm -mm. And I have my one piece straw hat necklace on. And just some accessories. This is not the right, like, it's just homemade. <laughs> my whole life, until now recently, my mom and my dad and the whole family, we were just like, yeah, Matilda, you're born November 22nd, and the time is 11.22. So it's like 11.22, 11.22. So no one forgot it and was like, you're so special. So I was like, oh my god. We only, that's why mom's, mom said, I only know your time of birth and not the others because yours is so special. It's the same number. <sighs> So I was like going around so cool. I was telling everyone, all of my teachers, schoolmates, classmates, <laughs> um, everyone, everyone in my family too. So like everyone knew I was born November 22nd, 1122. <laughs> and then now recently we were like, wait, what is the time to my other sisters? When are they born? And then we checked. <laughs> Mom has messed things up. She literally... My time wasn't 11.22. My time was 2.47 a.m. 11.22 was Michaela's time, my little sister. <laughs> so that was just like... It's okay, but it was a bit... Like, my whole life, in 20 years, I thought I was so special. I'm like, 11.22, 11.22, wow. No. No. It was so fun because I remember some, you know, when they uh, read, do readings, and they want to know, you know, about your zodiac sign and stuff, the time you're born. And I always said, 11.22, that's a lie. It's not 11.22, it's 2.47. So, it's just funny. I wanted to say that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Have you guys, by the way, seen my phone? <laughs> and then I have... Wait, I think I've shown this. Well, I'm gonna show it again. Here I have One Piece. Sanji and Zoro. Luffy and there's the like where they have like an X. Yeah. I'm too obsessed with one piece, really. No, you don't see it. There, yeah. And guys, I have to show you more obsession with anime <laughs> so the the soy meal romance series I this is so good I really recommend it and then look at this I could never do this alone this is my big sister Madeleine Madeleine that has helped me she's actually done the whole thing <laughs> but I just like ordered like a pack of mixed stickers from Wish and then I just like place them. Look at that. Crazy. It's so beautiful. And then I have There's also Luffy. <laughs> You're probably thinking like my favorite character is Luffy. I love Luffy. But my favorite character is actually uh, Zoro. <laughs> I love Zoro. He's I love Matcha. He's green. He's hot. He's his personality. I um I love Zoro. <laughs> but Luffy's like my second. Oh, he's so cool. Anyways. 
funny thing, I haven't seen all of these series. I haven't... This one? This one I haven't seen yet. And then this one too. 86. Mm, this one. Dr. Stone or something. I haven't seen. It's like Yuri on Ice or something. Mm, Tokyo Revengers. I haven't seen that one. I have to see. Watch it. And then I watched um I watched some of Dragon Ball. It's so fun. The way he like slaps them to check if they're a girl or a boy. Hilarious. And he's so cool. But I'm I'm not done. It's so many episodes and I'm but I'm watching it and then Yeah, I guess that's all. So the rest I've watched. a little bit more mm. it's just so good like I love eating food I hate making food just being in the kitchen like no no but eating I can eat for hours like I am even like I'm an eater I remember I was so full, just another bite could make me puke, but I still eat. That's not good. <laughs> I literally had, had a, uh, <laughs> I literally had a mental breakdown for not that long ago, where I was like, I need to lose weight. I need to eat less. I need to eat like just one slice of cake, and that made me cry. So much, you guys have no idea. I was like, I have to become like those girls that are not that are not eating any food. I hate that. So I, I tried one day, and then I was like, no, no, and then back to myself because I can't. I need to eat. Yeah, <laughs> like this is. I'm full, but I'm also not full. I want another slice. <laughs> edits that I make of different anime series and stuff so make sure to follow me I have it on my info page but I can also like put it down on this video yeah I just want to say a funny story how I got this obsessed with One Piece and how I started watching the series and all that the thing is I was like watching a lot of other series and I became so obsessed with anime, I was like, oh, I love anime so much. The thing with anime, that's just crazy. It's like, I love animation movies. Animation movies are so good and they really can make you cry or laugh or just, you're so in it, you know what I mean? But it's like, when it's done, it's like, oh, this was such a great animation movie. But anime, on the other hand, is like, you feel like they exist. I don't know how to say it. Like, it, it sounds so stupid. Okay, I know they don't exist, but it's they're so real. And every anime series, even anime series that are 12 episodes, I feel like they're, they exist. Where are they? I want to follow them on Instagram. <laughs> I'm literally like, it's something else with anime so different from like animation movies or series and by a lot of animation too I just I'm trying to say like anime is so it's so real you know I don't know but yeah 
and yeah, the whole thing is that I became so, such a fan of anime, and then I was like, we were, at that time, tra we were going to travel to Germany to just say hi to our family there, and one of my family members, his name is Ur, Merhaba Ur, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, he loves anime too. He's a huge fan of One Piece and uh, Dragon Ball and other series. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, and he, when I was there, I told him, and he is obsessed with Japan. He's actually been to Japan. He loved it there. But uh, yeah, and he was like, when I told him I was obsessed with anime and I had watched this and that series, he was like, oh, you have to watch these series too. So he gave me a recommendation of many other series and one of them was One Piece. But he, I don't know if he did tell me or I just didn't hear, it's just, <laughs> but I don't remember. He, he didn't tell me anything. He just said that he loved One Piece and it's such a good series. He didn't tell me anything about how many episodes it was or what it was about. Probably it did, but I didn't listen. But I don't, yeah, I don't. Anyways, so when I, when we were when we came home from Germany, I was like, okay, which anime series am I going to watch out of those he recommended me? And I remember he said he really loved One Piece, so I was like, hmm. And that one also looks very. I was so mean at the beginning. I was like, it looks so bad compared to the other series he recommended so i was like okay i'm just gonna start with the bad one so i'm done with it and then i can watch the watch the rest <laughs> and i started it was so good it really got my attention i didn't like that's what i'm trying to say like i didn't know what it was about i didn't know that it had over 1000 episodes <laughs> I didn't know anything and I haven't even seen One Piece or those characters in my life. So and I didn't even know it was that popular. So I started watching it. I got so into it. And then when I was like on episode 100, I was going to click and take the next episode. And then I saw a list to 1000. I was like, oh, oh, oh. it has 1000 episodes. What? But then I didn't care and I just continued watching it. Yeah. And if you didn't know, I'm done with One Piece. I'm currently waiting for the new episodes. And like I said, today I have two new episodes. So I'm so excited to watch them and eat my cake. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So that's just a funny story. I watched One Piece without knowing anything. And I even thought, I even thought it was bad. Like I was like, oh, this looks so bad. But no, no, it is so good. And the thing I love about One Piece is just, I don't like to cry or be angry. That really pisses me off. I love to smile. I love to have fun and just have a good feeling. And One Piece makes you cry and angry and all that. But mostly, it puts a smile on, on your face. And that's what I love. It always gives me, like, energy and happy. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm, One Piece is, like, my favorite and my series. Yes. Okay, um, but this tea is so good. Okay. I have to save for some for the rest of the cake. Mm -hmm. If you're not like an anime fan, that's totally cool, I understand. Like, I will see if I've always actually loved anime since I was little. I remember dad showed us studio ghibli movies and stuff when we were kids and i was like it's something about it you just love yes yeah, so i've always loved anime but now it's like the time i really boom like i'm i'm obsessed i know many people out there hate series they just don't tolerate it because series take too long and movies then you're just a movie you're done you know, and I understand that feeling because I was like that too. I literally hate a series. If someone was like, oh, this looks so fun or cool, I was like, yeah. And then I see it's a series. I'm like, oh, no, no, thank you. Don't want to use my time on a series. I was like that. 
And then when I started watching anime, and mostly of the good anime things was series, that's when I became obsessed and I was like, okay, you know what? I love series. I understand why people love it so much because you get to know the characters more, you get to go in the whole story more. So I love series and movies. I'm so happy, like, it's crazy how much anime has helped me with. Anime has helped me to love series. I literally hated the series at the beginning, so thank you, anime, for doing that. And another thing, I was a huge hater of sports. If someone came to me and just like, I love football, or I love basketball, or volleyball, or whatever. Tennis, yeah, I don't know. I was like, okay. I was such a bitch. I was literally, ew, boom, boom, boom. Like, what? I was so, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I, since none, none, no one in, like, my dad, he's not a huge. It was the cake. Look at that. <laughs> um, my dad, he's not even a huge. He doesn't watch sports. So that's why I like grew up with not watching any sports. I didn't that's I didn't understand the hype with it. I was like, oh why? <laughs> and that is so weird to say, but anime helped me to see the love, to see the huge um like the the big thing in sports, why people love it so much. It's really so cool and so I don't know how what you words to use but I'm obsessed so if you like if someone now comes and says I love football I love uh, volleyball uh, basketball I'm like I understand you wow I love it too but I'm not good at playing <laughs> it's just like it's crazy to I was a sports hater and now I love it Thanks to anime. It sounds so stupid, but it's true, and that's why I have so many reasons to thank anime for showing me that love and why people love it. And like, I don't know, it just made me more open. That's why, uh, yeah. Yes. And you really see the beauty of things too when you have watched anime. Not for everyone, everyone probably, but. For me, when I go outside for a walk and I see the grass just like, or the sun shining on my face, or the trees just... When you've watched anime, you know what I mean. It's just like, wow, the world is so beautiful. Eat a little bit more for you guys, a little bit mukbang, and then we can say bye. Oh, shit, I'm... Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> It's a huge matcha flavor. Mm. I'm so excited. I am in the future with my sisters. I'm gonna travel to Japan. I'm gonna eat all the matcha dessert that I see. <sighs> it's gonna be heaven. Wow. And it's so funny how I'm like. I just love being with my sisters. They're like my BFFs and my family and they're the best. <laughs> Funny story, okay, oh, I'm talking too much, but I just wanna say in school, I I didn't want friends. <laughs> oh, I hope none of them are watching this video. Anyways, um, I was like kind of using them. I was just like hanging out with them and being very nice in school and then they wanted to do things with me after school and i was like no <laughs> after school you don't know me i'm gone i'm hanging out with my sisters i don't want to do anything with you guys <laughs> bye bye <sighs> i didn't say it like that but i kind of you know what i mean 
So it was just fun. So many people loved me and they wanted to hang out with me. I was like, what? No. I don't want to be your friend. I have friends. I'm a person that really struggles to trust people. And I'm happy I don't trust everyone because that is not good. The world is too harsh to trust everyone. But I'm very like, you know. Uh, but I'm so happy like that I have my sisters. That's just what I wanted to say. I have one friend though, but I haven't seen her in five, six, or seven years. <laughs> yeah, and we don't talk, but she's my friend. <laughs> Anyways, I just love my life, I love my family, and I am so excited that we're soon traveling to LA. <laughs> And let's see what's gonna... Oh, if you haven't seen my LA video, I can put it up here. Or like, I'm just talking that we're traveling to LA because I'm gonna do some work there because I want to become an actor. So yeah, if you want to listen to that. And I also have another video where I'm eating cake uh, and I'm celebrating my 18th birthday. It's a bit similar to this one, I'm talking more. I'm ta also talking eating cake. I think I'm whispering more in that video than this one. Anyways, so if you want to watch that one, I can also put it up here. It's so good. And there I'm also drinking alcohol because I'm turning 18 in, in Norway when 18 is the legal age. So in this video, I didn't want to drink because I do not like alcohol. What? Okay, I love you guys so, so much. Take care of you. Take care of yourselves and bye <laughs> okay but bye bye